Uh, hi, Christine and Beth. Uh, welcome back for another short video. This one we're going to talk about uh, categories and posts so that you can start to load your different uh, products into the website so they will appear on different pages. Uh, as you know, here is your website. I'm already logged in. I can tell that because I've got this bar going across the top. I'm going to go ahead and click here to get me into the dashboard or I could have clicked the word dashboard. Either way, I need to be patient while it loads. A lot of data coming through and I've got too many uh, windows open. So here, as you know, is your dashboard. I'm logged in as Scott at this time. Uh, we can make this look a little bit different, but for now, that this is fine as basic. Uh, what I wanted to show you is uh, we're going to talk about posts and categories. So here under, uh, as you know, these are shortcuts going here across the top. This is your dashboard going down the left-hand side. These shortcuts can be found after a few clicks or a few different flyout buttons uh, here, but they're uh, more handy uh, and available right through here. So with that being said, going back to, again, going to the post, and then the categories, I'm going to go ahead and so again, I went to post. We're not going to look at the post just yet. We're going to look at the categories. And I went ahead and I created a bunch of categories ahead of time. I'd like you to take a look at them right now, and you can see them listed here, all and bath bombs, and you can read this for yourself. And if there's other ones that you want to add categories, again, you can see them here. You can go back to this post and then categories, it'll take you here, then you can add a new category. So as an example, if I want to add, uh, let's say, hair products, that's probably not a good example, but uh, we'll just toss it in there anyway. So hair products is a category. You're not going to mess with the slug or any of these other information here. Description, it's okay if you do have that at this time. You're going to add that later. But the main thing I'm just using use this example, adding the category. As you can see here, it added as here products. I can organize it here by clicking on here. And now here products is down here. So the reason why this makes a difference is because then when you go to all post or add new, Let's take a quick moment to look at all posts that have been created so far. I clicked on all posts. It's loaded right now. We don't have very many created so far. We've got seven posted, six are published. One of them is in a draft mode, and we'll deal with that a little bit later on. Uh, I can see this one here, new leaf, CBD uh, tinc tincture is in a draft mode. We'll deal with that later. But uh, with that being said, uh, here are all your posts so far created. You could click on them, and then they would open up. In fact, why don't we go ahead and do that? Let's click on the pretzels. This is one of the ways you can get to what doing to edit it or take a look at it. Uh, this involves an extra step. We're going to use Beaver Builder to edit this particular post. There's another way to get. There's lots of ways to get to the same place. I, I clicked one thing to another to another. You could have gone a different way to get to the same spot. So here we are, we've opened this post, and it's for this product called pretzels. Right now we only have one product called pretzels. We haven't made a chocolate one and a dark chocolate, milk chocolate and a dark chocolate. I just made this as an example in an earlier video. So here it is here, we can edit it if we'd like. So if we wanna add uh, some information here, here's the wrench for the text editor box. Here is the wrench for the photo, if we want to change the photo, here is the wrench to edit and change the row, which right now is full width with a green background with the content being fixed width. As you can see here, it's staying on the inside. But the color goes the full width. But what we're going to talk about is editing, let's say, this text. So you click the wrench here, or I could have just clicked right here and it opens up the text editor it's like a word document you've used these before i'm sure with powerpoint or your mail and that type of stuff and then you're free to type uh, more details and uh delicious and i already wrote delicious and trash but you know great great for smacking and you can see it's appearing right here on, on the website itself so let me click save and i'll show you as you can see, it, it, you edit it in real time. It's right there. It's not yet live, but uh, all you, to do, you do to make it go live, you click done, that you're done doing working on this page, and then you hit publish, and now we have just edited this post. 
But what I wanted to show you is how to start creating and adding, especially Beth, you were going to create some Kratom posts. And then we'll show you these posts will automatically go to different pages because you're going to put your products in different categories or your posts. You're going to give them different categories. And we already talked before a few minutes ago about the categories that you have set up or I've set up ready for you. And we can add more to them. So again, going to your dashboard, going to your post, going to your categories. So here's an example. Again, we've got Kratom. Beth, there may be additional uh, product or not products, but categories under Kratom. I don't know. Kratom juice, Kratom powder, Kratom gas. I, I have no idea what type of categories you may have or, or maybe none. Uh, but you may have Kratom and then additional categories. And you can decide on that later. But the point is, we're going to go ahead and add a new post. I go here, new for post. Or I can go here, post, and add new. It take, it'll take me to the same place. I'll go new post. So I'm waiting for this to load. It's coming up right now. What I wanted to do was grab one that's uh, currently on the website. So uh, let's see. I'm going to go to pet products and see if you have more than one option here. These are the pet products that you have. So I'm going to grab this one here. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to click on this. I want to see it. So I'm on the currently the 420 site. I went here to get the content. So uh, I can grab here. Here's an example to show you what I'm doing. So I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to do control C. So I've copied that. I'll come back for the title there in a second. So then I go back to my post. So here I am. I haven't named the post yet, but I'm going to go ahead and drop this in here with the control V. And then I'm going to go back to this. And you can't see what I'm doing. I'm sorry, you're out of range. But I'm going to go back to the 420 website and get the name of this. And then do a control C to copy it. And then I'm going to go back to the website that's the res ed. And here's the, the post that we started. I did this in the wrong order. I should have done it the other way around. So again, and then this is a pet product. Uh, let me just add that anyway. You'll remove this later and change it. But doing it for my own organization's sake, so for right now. And then we do use Beaver Builder. So I'm going to go ahead and click Beaver Builder because eventually you do want to do that. Beaver Builder allows us to do a lot more editing so it looks cleaner and we can add colors and columns and rows and that type of stuff. So here is this. I did want to add a photo, so I'm going to do a plus, and I uh, want to add a row first. So let's do rows. Let's do two rows right here. So I'll just drop those in. Then I go to modules. I'm going to grab a photo and drop it in here. And then I'm going to grab a select photo from the media library. Let me go back. I'm going to exit out of this. So I'm going to exit out of this and cancel. So here we are on the post. Here is what we already created already. Now I've got two columns. What I did is I go on here, went plus, went to rows, grabbed two columns, dragged them over here. That's what I'm currently working with. Now I'm going to go to modules, go to photos. Oops, I should not have done that. Uh, go to photo and then drag it over here. Uh, to take me so I can now open. See this uh, moves around here. I can resize it. The lighting is a little different, but select photo. I forget what the thing looked like now. I think it was purple. Oh, shoot. Let's say this is it. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Uh, I mentioned in an earlier video, you want to add alternative text in your media library. You want to add a title. That is what this product actually is. You don't need to add a caption. You should add a description. Uh, just a sentence, maybe or two if you'd like. And we hit select photo. Here it is right there. Full size is kind of small, but that's okay. I'll leave it there. We're not going to get fancy with these other things right, right now at this time. I'm going to drop it in. That's fine. Now, I wanted to add in the uh, title and the name and that type of stuff. So here I click here. I could put a heading in, but I'm going to go ahead and use a text editor. Drop that in right there. The text editor opens. Put my cursor there. I do a control V. And that allowed me to paste off my clipboard. And then I hit save. And then that's here. So then I'm going to hit done. Oops. Yeah, I'm going to hit done because I made a mistake. So let me show you what happens. You make a mistake, 
I didn't do stuff in the right order. So let me go back. I did not add the categories. And this is the key part because this is a pet product. If I go to products, pet products, you'll see that it does not show, right? Doesn't show. Now, where it does show is under our blog, because our blog, I believe, would show all of them. Uh, here it is right here, therapeutic thing. And I did not set the, oops, well, here it is here because I clicked on it. Let me go backwards. So here it did appear in our blog because everything that you post will be part of your blog. So this is the information we did. And if we click on read more or here, it will open the post with the photo. But what I did not add was a featured image. Like here is a featured image for this post. Here is a featured image for this post. Here is a featured image for the post called pretzels. If I want to read more about pretzels, I click here. So what I did not do was add a featured image here. And what I also did not do was put this pet product into a category so it's not appearing under the products uh, pet category uh, pet products page so I'm going to go now go back here go to my dashboard I also could have gone to post that was silly of me so I also could have gone right here post and this is the one that I did not uh, do correctly so let me uh, click on this Okay, so what I should have done here at this point, <clears throat> excuse me, before I went to Beaver Builder, was I should have added a category. So here along this right-hand side are categories. So it definitely appears in the blog. It appears in all, uh, for all products, because you do have a page called, we want it to appear in a page called All Products. And the other thing that we wanted to appear was called Pet Products. And then what we wanted to do, you could add some tags. Uh, tags might be, um, you know, multiple sizes or raspberry or vanilla or um, custom, whatever different tags that you might add uh, to, that are different than categories. And then featured image. And don't worry about that. If you add some, that's great. It's better to add too many than, than not enough. But that that's it's not a big deal. Uh, so because it's just one aspect of what you're doing. Here's featured image. This is where you set your featured image. This opens up to the media library. If we did not have the photo here in the media library, go here to upload photos and then select fo files. Then you go to your desktop or your USB port or your driver, wherever you had those particular uh, files. So uh, with that being said, let me get back out of this if I can, hopefully, right, cancel. Oh, come on. <clears throat> okay, I'll tell you what, I'll just drop this in here. Grab this photo for now because I'm going to grab my other window. Hit OK. Okay, so that took me back to the media library. So the, the, that's good. So what I want to do is go find that freeze thing, the purple that was uh, maybe lavender or something that wasn't gummies. That would be under your edibles. Oh, come on. I know you saw it and I did not. Here we go. Freeze, drop this in again. Should add alternative text, should add a title, should add a description. Set the featured image. Now you can see it here. And then you go to update. And it's updating the page, updating your post, updating your website. And now what we're going to do, let's go look at the, out, the front end of your website. And hopefully you can hear me okay. So here we are here. Let's go to uh, for pet products. Hopefully it will appear as it should. And lo and behold, there it is. Now we can reformat that. We'll take out, you know, the person, author's name and date and that type of stuff and make this appear differently. But now it appears here. And we also, I don't know that we got this page. Let me see. Do we have some? Yeah, but here we go. We've got a page of products. I really should call it all products. And then this would be the subcategories of the products. But you can see this is the one that we just added. And then if you click on it, you'll see the details and stuff that we cut and pasted at the start of this video. And then, as you already know, also it's on the blog. And here it is here with that image that now appears with that same text. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope that it helps make sense. And uh, take care. Bye-bye.